It looks like someone made a mess with some blueberries on my kitchen countertop. I'm going to need to clean this up. I think I'll spray on some of this cleaner to help me tidy up. Oh, wow, did you see that? Let's watch that again in slow motion. Watch carefully now. Do you see a color change? I sure do. When I spray the cleaner onto the blueberry residue, I see a color change from red-purple to blue. What do you think's going on here? Well, scientists have learned that blueberries contain pigments called anthocyanins. And anthocyanins change color when exposed to chemical compounds known as acids and bases. Anthocyanins change to reddish colors when exposed to acid, but to bluish color when exposed to base. Let's explore this a little further by observing how the blueberry residue changes color when exposed to various acids and bases. To prepare for some tests, I'll collect some blueberry residue by shaking up some frozen blueberries inside these two disposable bowls. Now we can try adding various household items that contain acids and bases to see what happens. Let's first add some pure water. Pure water does not contain acid or base. It doesn't look like much of a color change happened here, does it? Even so, I think the violet color of the blueberry residue is quite pretty, don't you? Let's try adding some vinegar. We'll keep our blueberry residue treated with water nearby for the purpose of comparison. Hey, it looks like I saw a color shift to red, did you? I guess that means vinegar contains acid. This time, I'm going to add some household ammonia. Ammonia is often found in cleaners. Oh my goodness, that is a gorgeous blue color. It sure does seem like ammonia contains a base. I wonder how this oven cleaner might change the color of the blueberry residue. Oven cleaner can harm skin and eyes, and it also gives off some bothersome fumes. As a precaution, I'm going to wear gloves and safety goggles while doing this next set of experiments. You'll also notice I'm doing the experiment outdoors so the fumes won't bother me. First, I'll add some of this pure water. Now I'll carefully spray in some of the oven cleaner. Wow, that color looks a bit green to me. Does it look green to you? This actually makes sense because anthocyanins are known to change to a green color when exposed to very strong bases. An oven cleaner does contain a very strong base. Here are some other color changes I observed when I tested this experiment with other things I found around the home. If you get an adult to help you, you could try some of these experiments out on your own. I tested things like baking soda and a carbonated lemon-lime beverage. The yellowish color resulted when I sprayed the blueberry residue with a lot of oven cleaner and let it sit for about five minutes. You know, anthocyanins sure do make a lot of beautiful colors. Happy experimenting!